Welcome back to the Survivor Crafts YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to beat the Cube Crisis Challenge that has been run three times on the American show. Twice as an individual immunity and once as a group immunity. I won't be covering the group immunity challenge one today because it is much larger and more involved, but I will be covering it in a later video. Today I'm going to show you the two different orientations of this challenge that the production has produced and shown, and I'm going to give you three tips and tricks on how to beat it, or recognize it, and then beat it very, very quickly. So to begin, I'm just gonna start with orientation number one. This one was run in Survivor Thailand. Um, and I'm gonna show, I'm gonna break it down for you. And then I'm gonna show you tips and tricks on how to beat this orientation. So let's do this. I'm gonna break it apart for you. You got your three piece here with the green on the outside. You got this L-shaped block. You got a little block of two. You got this odd shaped one right here. You got a corner piece. You got this one right here. You got a T shaped one. And then you got another little one. So the first tip I'm gonna give you for this puzzle and for the next one is always when you get to see this one, look for this piece right here. It's colored on the bottom, on the outside is the exact same on this orientation and the orange one. So what you do, first thing first, I want you to go and just put a corner. It will always be your corner. Technically, you can put it in any corner you want, but it will always be in a corner. And that'll be your first tip. You already have your first piece and you're ready to go. So the next thing I want you to look for is the T. The T will give you an idea. On this orientation, it's colored on the bottom and on the sides here. If you see the pattern on the bottom like this or all on one side, you know it's gonna be flat on the bottom just like that. So I'll just kind of rotate it here for you a little bit. So you got your two pieces, you have the T and then you have your corner. Way to go. You are two pieces ready to go. The next piece and well, the next tip I want to give you is that these three pieces will always go on a bottom, on a top, but they will never go in the middle anywhere. And that's for both orientations as well. So set those off to the side for now. And these three pieces, the L, this weird one right here, and this one are gonna make up the core middle for this orientation num for number one. This piece I want you to look at next, this one we're gonna do, it's gonna kinda, we're gonna kinda go like that. There we go, we found a good orientation where all the black is on the inside, all the color is on the outside, so it's all green. There you go, so we have our third piece there. I'll rotate it for you, there you go. Now, we have a two piece here, we can look at these little guys. We got one that has uh, one side, two sides, and then one end that is green. That's the one you're looking for. So you're gonna find it, find the black, go in the middle just like that, and orient it, orient it to where it's just gonna fit in just like that. There you go. The next piece we're gonna go for is this guy right here. It's got green on the outside and on both edges, and then it's black everywhere else. So what we're gonna do, we put this one as a core middle piece just right there. All right. The next piece I'm gonna have us do is the, the L. We got a little bit of a dip here, so we know it can't be these guys. One might think you do that, but then it's not gonna work. What you want is to put the L just like that. That completes that side, and we're making very good progress here. And the last two pieces are pretty straightforward. The three will go on the three, and the two will go right there in the middle with the green facing out, and there you go. That is how you solve orientation number one. Let's move on to orientation number two. It's very similar and should go fairly quickly. So this is orientation number two. This was run in Survivor Redemption Island um, for... Matt Elrod, who ended up winning the challenge and staying alive in the game. So let me break this one down. It's the exact same shape of pieces. You got your three, you got your two on top, you got another two on top. So as I said, these little pieces are always gonna be on top, maybe one on the bottom, but never in the middle as a core piece. And that's good to know. We're gonna break that, same again, same piece like that, slightly different orientation. We have our L shape again, we have our T, and we have our corner piece, and then we got this guy. Same shape, slightly different orientation. 
So just like the last puzzle in orientation number one, we're gonna find that corner piece again. Remember, find that corner piece. You're just gonna put it in any corner you want, doesn't matter. We have our first piece of the puzzle and we'll get you right into the challenge right away and help you, give you a step up. So the next one on this one I want you to look at is grab this guy. He's gonna hook up with this and he's gonna, uh, there we go. So we got the orange on the outside, black on the inside there. And I'll rotate it so you can see those two pieces kind of connect on the outside there. There you go. So the next puzzle piece that we're gonna look at, and this is a good indicator for um, which orientation you're looking at. So if you look at the T, this one only has colors on the three edges. So you know it's gonna be in the middle of the puzzle and you know you're on the orient orientation number two and not puzzle number one. And that might be a quick idea if you decide to memorize these, um, that would be a quick, if you look right at the T and you see that it's only on the three edges, you know this piece is going in the middle of this puzzle just like this. And then you got your four there. There you go. Next piece I want you to look at is the L. This one is gonna go on the side right there. And then the next one, this guy, is gonna face out and go just like that. Oh, see, you gotta make sure you get the colors right. So I'll show you there. I got the black on the outside, I don't want that. But if I were to orient it just a little better, there we go. Then I can have the color, fixes that, the color's on the outside now, and everything is good. And then we just have our three on top. The little pieces always go on top. The three, this one is actually gonna be on this side right here, and that edge right there. And then these two little ones kind of go in the middle. And this guy goes on the outside, just like that. And then we've solved orientation number two. So just quick recap, the three things you wanna look for. Um, look for that corner piece first and get you your first piece, get you jump started into the puzzle right away. The next piece of advice I wanna give you is that look at the T-shape, the T-shape piece. If it's only the edges, you know it's this orientation right here and you know it's gonna go in the middle of the puzzle. Um, and then the last piece of advice I wanna give you is that these little guys, the three, the two, and the two, will always go on the top or an orientation number one on the bottom, but they'll never be in the middle of the puzzle as a core piece. So thank you for joining me. Hopefully this is very helpful for you. Um, feel free to fast forward or, or slow down these videos to memorize and get a better idea of the orientation. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you again.